Every day is the same for the narcissist. They, they live a very, very miserable existence. They need to find people to hurt the way that me and you need to find oxygen, need to have oxygen to breathe. They need to find people to hurt in order to fuel themselves because they are so empty inside. Now, I'm not sure if they want to hurt people because they want other people to feel the way they feel inside, the way they are dead inside, and that it gives them some comfort to spread that misery to empaths, or what. I'm not really 100% sure on that, but they cannot survive without hurting people, and it's just... It's like an audio player or a music player on repeat. It just keeps going the same song over and over and over and over. That's what their days are like, day in and day out. They have to find fuel. They have to find supply. So they are in constant predator mode to find, to re like reel another fish in, you know, and then they've just got three or four or five at one time, but they've always got somebody if they, if the one that they had gets away, they might have to scramble if they didn't, you know, yet find another person to kind of reel in. But I know in my situation, the red flags were apparent pretty much from day one, so I th think, you know, it's imperative that you cannot overlook red flags, you know, because I can look back and go, oh, that definitely was a red flag, but then you talk yourself out of it, so I picked up on every single red flag there was, but, you know, you brush it off, or some time, a few months pass, and you, you kind of forget about it, and then something else happens, and you're like, oh, that was weird. They always give indications. They always give themselves away, because they are not normal. You know, it's like a robot automaton trying to pass for a human, inevitably there's going to be a lot of red flags because they can't, they're not that good at it. They're not that good <laughs> at being, at, I mean, it doesn't come naturally to them like it does for you and me. We're just being our regular selves. We don't have to fake anything. So in the process of them trying to fake, you know, being compassionate, or it totally it totally comes across all wrong, so they give themselves away, you know, on many occasions, but the point is, it's like Groundhog Day every day for them. They have to continuously find people to hurt. They have to continuously reel people in, hurt them, discard them, try to destroy them, break them down. I mean, how productive can you really be if 24-7 you have to be in predator mode and you literally are going to be like without oxygen if you don't have a person to hurt? And once that person gets away, are you going to shrivel up and die? Like you ha Then you go back into scrambling again and again and again. And it's like all this time and energy could be focused like a normal person could would focus on, you know, advancing in their career or finishing their degree or doing things that are actually productive, making more money or this and that. They have to actually waste all of this time trying to find people to hurt and then, you know, and then they do whatever, cheat on those people and and try to destroy them, it just shows how, you know, they're just absolute low lowlifes. I mean, they have no, they have no life. And they can't even really, like, how far can you even get in your career? I mean, they do have, 
the, the, the idea of not having emotions obviously can be a plus because you can just step on people with no no care or concern in the world and that's how they are able to it you know get so far in business and in different careers but at the same time their growth is kind of stifled because they can't really work in a team they can't get along with anyone so they stifle their own growth I mean how are you going to advance and you're like a robot people see through it because they make kind of underhanded comments and they can't have real friends I mean everything is a competition everything has to be about them so how are they gonna work in a team they can't work in a team that takes the attention off of them it has to be about them 24 7 so how how can they do anything productive in a team setting so I mean even though it appears that they're so advanced and they get so ahead they actually they really don't they they end up actually destroying a lot of opportunities because their ego is so outrageous that I mean they actually end up stagnating themselves and not moving forward hence the and then the ground the groundhog day kind of analogy is just the same thing repetitive over and over and over and over and over and over and you know they say the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over and over again and expecting different results so this is uh you know the epitome of what a narcissist is it's just repetitive you know the same thing over and over and over again and it never they never deviate from this and it's just I mean it's just fascinatingly insane that's all I can say it's it just I mean it's such a dichotomy of of personalities <laughs> I mean it's like they're like a robot but then they're trying to be human and have compassion I mean it's it's definitely something to behold <laughs> That's for sure. And once you once you've experienced one of these creatures, you can never forget it because it's just it's like whoa. I mean, you just can never ever forget it. It's like literally like meeting the devil on earth. It's like you just met the devil on earth and you're like I I mean, you get like shaken up once you realize who who and what you are dealing with and you can't explain it to anyone because no one unless they've dealt with it they they just have no clue what you're talking about even if you try to describe it and then they watched a hundred videos on it they still wouldn't get it unless they experienced the person first and their behaviors and then watched the videos then they can piece it together but it, you have to experience just the intricacies and the patterns and the things that they do and how abnormal it is in order to fully understand it but anyway I just wanted to just make a quick video here and just talk about how the narcs live in a, a just continuum of repetitive um, just days over and over you know alright but let me know what you guys uh, think about that